the last warnings of the third angel, January 12. The angel who unites in the proclamation of the third angel's message is to lighten the entire earth with his glory. A work of worldwide extent and great power is here foretold. The Bible in Revelation 18 and verse 1 says, After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Understand that what John sees here is this another angel lighting up the world with his glory. Uh, this messenger of God uh, will be empowered with strength, with vigor, and with firmness uh, to ignite the word of God uh, to die in men. Men would receive the, the word of God uh, in context with power and in context with glory, making decisive decisions uh, for him. Uh, those who have done him wrong will come to repentance. Uh, those who have been long outside in the fall of safety, they will come in to the fall of safety. Those who would have never understood uh, the gospel truth or the everlasting gospel will come and call him a blessed. God will finish this work and his message, his word will lighten the entire world. Now you might be asking yourself a question in terms of wondering when would this happen. I want you to understand that God is using his ministers even right now. He is using his elders right now. He is using all those who are willing and able and are committed to him to add uh, to his message so that his word can go out powerful and to accomplish his great glory. Uh, you might be asking yourself, uh, how can you respond uh, to this word? It is simple. Uh, just accept the word as does say the word. Accept uh, Jesus Christ's death on Calvary. Accept his resurrected uh, power so that when Christ comes, uh, you will be saved. Uh, why not let us ask God today uh, to be a good recipient of uh, his word? Why not let us ask him that today? Uh, Father in heaven, your word will uh, ignite, and your word even now is being preached with power. Uh, grant us uh, uh, the desire to appreciate your word, and grant us the ability to accept uh, your word. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.